the Ben Hunt story, we made this prediction. We're going to be talking about Ben Hunt every day, and still we will be until he yep. lands somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, that is a big story today. Ben Hunt released nothing to pay Dragons, released from a contract that may have got him $950,000 next year. Gone. Yep. He was Clint happy Gutherson. enough to leave the yeah. Dragons wow. with, and without anything really shorn up. And we... I, I don't think he'll get that money anywhere else. I don't think in, I don't think a club's got that to pay him nine fifty this year. He wants two years, and that was the sticking point. The Dragons said yes, but then then said no, no, we don't. We're not going to sign you for another year. So that's where the problem started. Ben Hunt had his say eleven days ago in in Australian camp about the Dragons, uh, and Clint Gutherson might make a good number six uh, for the Red V. That's where the problem started. That was the tipping point. Now. Here's a very interesting text. We've spoken about Ezra Mam, and I, I, I said, look, I, I think the Broncos will keep him, but Broncos will get salary cap relief, says our man on the text, uh, if Mann is stood down by the NRL. Likely to be stood down for most of next year, at least until his court case is finished. Now, right. the court case, who, they're not in a rush. They're not... They're not a, 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 they don't care whether he's a rugby league player or not. Now, no. if the court case drags on, um, and if Mam Man isn't Mam isn't available for the Broncos, and they do get salary cap relief, well, there there's Ben Hunt's Ben Hunt might be able to slide into a Brisbane jumper. Um, yes. Now, look, there is a text about this. Remember, has there been any news about the second? drug test and also charges that well i don't think there's any formal charges at all are there at this point and look he, he will he was um arrested at the time but he was also taken to hospital that night as a back of the accident um uh, failed a roadside drug test um after being involved in the head-on car crash where a passenger in the car sadly a child was injured there was suggestions of a fractured hip so the charge can get very serious, but to this point, um, everything is still pending. It is being invested mm. by Queensland Police, and the result of the second roadside drug test remains unknown. That's that's the latest I can give you on Ezra Mam, but that's interesting. Yeah, that situation with you. So in terms of now, timing and, and we'll tie that into cases. Ben Hunt. Uh, the, okay, well let's talk. Let's unpack the Ben Hunt story. Most likely suitors for Ben Hunt. I think. The happiest place Ben Hunt would be would be the Brisbane Broncos. Now, I'm not saying th- that's happening, but I'm saying that's where I believe you would get the happiest Ben Hunt. I you believe he's like to go plenty back. plenty to offer the NRL, and mm-hmm. I think he would work well into the Broncos. I think he could go in there like an old pair of slippers, bang, put them on, comfortable. He'd be, he'd be really good. He goes to the Dolphins. He's going to a side that, you know, I, is that where he wants to play at his career? As opposed to Brisbane, the mm. Gold Coast is that where he wants to play at his career. As opposed to Brisbane, I'm saying yeah. no. But, well, Brisbane, then in Brisbane Sydney, have the best lineup. Then, if you're staying in Sydney, it's Roosters, it's Bulldogs, it's Parramatta Hooker. I don't think the the the, the, the if an opportunity exists to go to Brisbane, then I think that that'd be the that'd be the landing spot for Ben Hunt for a happy Ben Hunt mm. family. Football position, started his career there. Started, started his, his career, career there. Book there. End, 2008, yep. like NYC star. Chance that to win to a me looks like yeah, and still a good yeah, good roster. What yeah, do you good think? Good roster. Sounds good. Yeah, I, I agree. But it, it, there's a lot of things that have to fall into place, and Ezra Mam is is definitely one of those. If if Ezra Mam isn't it, depending on what they can't afford him, they can't fit him in. No. They've, they've no, just re-signed, right. they've, and they've got players coming up off contract. You know, who, Selwyn Cobbo, Katoni Staggs. They've got to think about those players. Ben Hunt is a short-term deal. He's a two-year option. That's that's yep. it. No, no longer than that. Uh, did Saints get salary cap relief for Jack DeBellin? Oh. I think they did. They probably did, yeah. They probably would I think they yeah. did, yeah. Hmm. Over that period. Uh, boys, yeah. it's up to 12 weeks for a second drug test. Addo Cars came back quickly because he paid for it. Mm. Right. Yeah, okay. And I suppose the police don't... Well, I don't know. It's, it's just odd. It's, this is where Needley had you, Pentelis. Like the laying of charges by the police... 
because there is a failed drug test and there's all these other things, you get into culpable driving and all those sorts of things, if proven, mm. you know, they yeah. investigate the accident, then I suppose the charge, they don't... But, but yeah... I don't know. Look, it's just, it just seems strange that we are at this point. There's so much uncertainty around. I thought we might have had a little more news out of the Queensland police uh, than, yeah. than what's well, happened. Well, we, we, we can't guess at that. Uh, and, of course, no. there was a board meeting last night uh, at Parramatta, and word is that Gutherson will be released. He, he, he's on his Done. way. So he, he might sign Done. a deal before the week is over. He might He'll sign have a, the red V. He, He'll have a red V on today, Brandy. Uh, this one from Pedro. Duffo. Yeah, he says there is no way that Ben Ben walks away from nine hundred or nine hundred fifty k with a smile, let alone not having a club lined up. I'm calling cap. Pedro thinks he's got somewhere to go already. Well, there's no Damn. doubt if yeah. if he's agitating and he's at, he yeah. was agitating a couple of weeks ago. There's no doubt that the manager is making some inquiries. That, that's. But, like but if, you know, if anyone you, you wants to even believe have to make inquiries, that he's you not know there's rubbish. going to be clubs yeah. interested. They, oh, yeah. You know. It's just supply and demand, and there is a demand for playmakers, and Ben Hunt is still a very good playmaker. Now, the Roosters, who needs him? Okay, I'll, I'll fire the question at you in a different way. Who yep. needs him the most? I'm saying Parramatta need a hooker. Yeah, the Roosters need absolutely. an extra in the halves. I think they're yes. the two clubs that need the most. Mm-hmm. Do the Warriors need... Uh, does, but would he go across to New Zealand? But You could probably I say the Warriors so. need... A half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So who needs him the most? Do you want to put one at top? Where's your power rankings? Who needs uh, him the most? Well, well, probably the Roosters. Okay. Money to spend? Probably the Roosters. Um, that means staying in but, but then again, he would, f- he would fit into any club that is even thinking about him. So whoever is thinking that they might have a crack at Ben Hunt, he would fit in there. It no. doesn't matter who it is. Like Ben, as you said, Ben Hunt... He still, I can still. Ben Hunt still has a couple of good years left in him. His body's mm. good; he hasn't slowed down. Um, yeah, will Gutho okay. play six or one at the Dragons? Yeah. That's a question. Uh, we don't know. I, I don't know about that. Eight six six throws that out. Uh, he could play. It, Kyle Flanagan and Gutho in the halves for the Dragons. I, I'm not sure. Uh, but but your opinion as a football analyst, um, and I asked you this earlier. Mm. If you signed Gutho at the Dragons, on what you saw of Clint Gutherson by the end of this season, where would you play him in the Dragons lineup, Brandy? I'd play him at fullback if he can run. Okay, if he can run. Fullback for Clint Gutherson. If, he's, if, if his knee's all right, if his knee is good enough where he hasn't lost the speed that he looked like he'd lost last at the back end of last year where he was stood up a couple of times, I'd play him at fullback. That's his best position. Tell you what, in Flanagan, like that. Well, they are past thirty. They've signed a couple of pros there, haven't they? Real professionals in Damian Cook and Clint Gutherson. They're good men. You get them to your club, they are good leaders. And you know, there's mm. some clubs around here that need leaders. Yeah. Um, th- there's a couple of really good ones there. So you know, you put them into your mix. You're getting more than just what Throw they give Val on Holmes the field with those two. Mm-hmm. Val Holmes, yeah. Yeah, Dragons roster, interesting. Move on from Ben Hunt and uh, and Lomax, don't they? Very quickly. Uh, other rugby league news, by the way. Cameron Murray, this wrist injury is serious. Um, suffered playing for Australia. They're talking about surgery, five-month recovery. Will miss big, the start of next yeah. season. That's a big for injury, Cameron Murray, isn't it? Their that's, a, that's a very serious wrist injury to keep you out for five months. Look, of course, Latrell was, you know, the mm. story yesterday. An amazing transformation. Um <laughs> That will. I forgot about that. The, the rugby league song. <laughs> Yesterday morning we were talking about Latrell Mitchell buying Jim Gibbs, and, his home and today gym. we've got two of the biggest names at <laughs> the game signing with clubs. That's that's rugby league, folks. Rugby league. <laughs>